Traitor Gamer! Hello everybody, I'm Zero. Welcome to Zero Raider Gaming, because Raider did this because we didn't have videos um, a couple weeks ago, so I'm going to do it because we don't have a video this week. God, we're so bad at being scheduled. But, uh, yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and talk about stuff that I've been doing, because really, you haven't heard much from me, so, yeah. A little bright outside. It was overcast, but... It's human balls, though, so let's go in. You're gonna have to pardon the mess because we have a toddler. But, uh, one fun thing that we've done in my house since uh, I haven't been able to record any of my horror stuff is completely changed my office. So, right there, that's where my desk used to be. Now it turned into a music thing. This is now our bedroom. So, the backdrop for whenever I get around to recording again will change in my house because we spent an entire day, my day off actually, uh, changing stuff around. This is my messy bed. I would say that's my Peppa Pig pillow. This is where I've been spending most of my time with this little bitty TV and my PlayStation. I've been playing Doom. Doom! And uh, Uncharted 4, both amazing games. If you haven't picked them up, pick them up. Also today I picked up Uncharted the Nathan Drake collection because I own all three of the games on PlayStation 3 and I have Literally never played one of them. I started Drake's fortune um, a Couple day no I started Drake's fortune a while back and then put it down and then picked it back up a couple days before 4 came out because 4 looks so good and clearly didn't get a chance to finish it. So I read the story on Wikipedia for all three games and then picked up four. And I like four so much that so I want to go back and play the other three. But I am so spoiled with the PS4 that I'd rather play them on that. So that's why I did that. But that is literally all I've been doing with my time is just uh, working. Uh, I have work at Sonic now. <laughs> and uh, Stinky. And playing Doom and Uncharted. Um, and moving things. You guys can look at my rats. Hello, my name is Dexter. Do you have treats for me? Do you have a treat for me? Maybe. They're so fat. Look at how fat he is. Here's a sunflower seed. That's for you. Oh, 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 kitty, kitty. Oh, there you go. There you go. Oh, did you drop it? He dropped it. They make a big mess. My house is usually not this messy, but... I decided to shoot a vlog and we haven't cleaned yet. Whoop, there you go. And where is... That's my wife's rat. Little Funkenstein. Let's get the doctor out. No. Where are you at? There he is. He's in the corner. He's hiding. Come here. Come here. Come here. This... He earned his PhD at Harvard for uh, Funkonomics. His name is Dr. Funkenstein. He's the littlest rat. Oh, and he can do a sweet backflip. Oh, and he decided not to go back in his cage. Dr. Funkenstein, would you like a seed? Yeah, come here. Come here. That's for you. Don't steal it. They like to fight. You might have heard them fighting in uh, some of our videos. Oh, he dropped it. Oh, he dropped it. But they like to wrestle. I feel like rats get a uh, pretty bad rap for being disease-ridden filth animals, but I like them. They're cute. I'm going to take a bath. I'm taking a bath. I'm taking a bath. You can train rats to do fun stuff, but I think my rats are stupid. All they want to do is eat. No! Hello, my name is Dexter, and I like to dance and sing. I also like candy and goldfish crackers, and I like to do this. Okay. Hola, your nombre is Dr. Funkenstein. I like to do the mariachi and take siestas. He does sleep a lot. On his back? It's really weird. All right, fellas. Back in your cage, you stinky butts. Oh, my goodness. You okay? Dr. Funkenstein or Dexter just tried to uh, assassinate the doctor. I kind of feel bad because I woke him up just to do all that, but I'm like their god, so it's okay. I guess now we'll take a gander at what my new room will look like, and again, it's really messy. 
This is, no joke, my new office. Again, we need to clean it. Uh, we decided to consolidate my two-year-old's massive amounts of toys into one room. There's a mattress, so no need to worry about that. Into kind of a playroom. This is the remainder of my desk. There's a creepy baby doll. But uh, I put an update on Xerophobia that I broke my monitor on accident. Basically what had happened was I uh, threw a bit of a fit because things weren't going well and I'm not ashamed to admit it. And um, stood up really fast holding my wireless mouse and my wireless mouse flew out of my hand, hit the monitor and busted the screen. So. I'm currently without a monitor right now. That's why I've not been recording any of my solo stuff on Xerophobia. That's why we've not been recording at my house. And the monitor tends to act as the centerpiece to my desk. And with it gone, I just let this go to crap. That's what happens. There's my Batman that my daddy bought me. Because I'm like almost 30 and I still get presents. Uh, he holds my uh, Wii sensor bar. Xbox and Wii have not been touched since. The monitor accident. There's all the games down there. Lights. Pictures. And stuff. But yeah, whenever we go to actually start recording again here, this will be cleaned up a little bit more and you might get to see fun little toys of my daughters. And you might get to hear Fox and the Hound in the background. Who knows? For everybody that wanted a house tour, this is about the gist of what you're going to get. Downstairs is filthy and my wife will literally castrate me if I record her or downstairs. So you're going to get the upstairs treatment, which is also super messy, but it's my domain and I can do what I want with it. I guess the last thing that I've been keeping myself busy with, aside from working and all around just being the coolest dude in the world, is I've always been a pretty big fan of corn since I was in high school, because I'm old and they were relevant when I was in high school. So, uh, and when Head left to do his thing, uh, I kind of followed him for a little bit. I actually got to meet him once or twice. Right there. Oop, gross that. He actually uh, purchased that poster for me because I didn't have anything for him to sign. It was in Haleyville, Oklahoma when I saw him in that show. There's like 13 people in attendance. And he purchased me that poster and his whole band signed it. So that was pretty cool. But I digress. The reason that I brought this up is I've actually read all of the books. And I was honored to be part of the street team for his new book with eyes wide open but uh that's the thing that they do in the street team is they take selfies with the book because it's half head of a head <laughs> half head of a head but uh it's a really good book it just deals with uh the first book was him leaving corn and doing his thing after he left corn and everything that he dealt with through corn and then after that and then the second book kind of deals with everything after the first book because that's how chronologically things go but um, everything with him being done with Corn and then starting a solo thing and then going back to Corn and all that happy stuff. Really good book. Um, if you're not religious, it's still a good book. If you're a fan of them or not a fan of them, it's still a good book because he just deals with normal life problems that everybody deals with. Not everybody, but, you know, people deal with things. They have their ups and downs. And he's a really inspirational guy. And, again, religious or not, uh, he has something that people should hear if they're dealing with bad stuff uh you know being broke being uh being a single dad i'm not a single dad fortunately but being a single father and like dealing with like raising a teenager and all that stuff uh you know trials and tribulations kind of thing so it's a really good book and again religious or not religious fan of corn not a fan of corn anything like that it's just a good book to read just to make you feel good about stuff so i highly recommend that um, and if you haven't read his first book, definitely pick that up. If you are younger or have younger people, because the first book does deal with a lot of hardcore issues, he did release this, which is essentially the first book, but kind of watered down for younger people. But, uh, yeah, definitely, this book is out now, clearly, so I recommend you pick it up. It's just a good book, really well written, and in... For me, being being a faithful person and being a huge fan of Korn and him in general, um, it's really nice to see like an insight in, in, in a pretty big rock star's life who makes a pretty big jump into things and, uh, you know, 
listening to how he deals with that stuff. So it's really good, really well written, and uh, it's helped me through a lot of lot of stuff. Uh, him, he himself has helped me through a lot of stuff just throughout my life, being like an angsty teenager to an angsty twenty something, through like you know losing my daughter to like now like just you know flat broke and all that happy stuff and having to deal with that and yada blah. So that's about it. That's all I've been doing. I've been reading, moving furniture, and uh, killing demons, and finding treasure. So yeah, this is again because I'm only down. <laughs> we uh, were unable to record anything for this week because I started a new job, and Raider has had a lot of stuff that he's been doing with his LARPing because he's a nerd. We're both nerds, but uh, yeah figured I would talk to everybody because Raider did it last time and now it's my turn. I was going to tell you guys a story about the Fit for a King show that I went to for my birthday but I think Raider did that so you know whatever. I saw Fit for a King watch shop for my birthday. I was going to have my daughter be in this video but she decided to go to my mom's. So this is me. So yeah I'm going to go downstairs and edit some videos and hopefully we have another video coming out this week if not tough cookies and we will have videos coming out the week after that so I don't know how to end vlogs if you like this video give us a huge thumbs up share our video around subscribe to our channel if you haven't already subscribe to Zero Phobia my wife's channel we can like wash them uh, Zero Raider TV which we do have skits planned for that I look really weird laying down like an Asian uh, yeah, we do have more skits planned out for that, but we just haven't gotten around to doing them yet. And, uh, yeah, subscribe to all that. Share us around. T-Blocks code still in effect. In the description. Comment. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Let's look at my guitar. Ooh, goodbye.